Hello Spectrumites and welcome to Autism Actually. I'm here today to talk about some of the sensory and stim toys I like um, that may help other autistic individuals. It's very important to note that each sensory profile is different and what may work for me may not work for another autistic individual. Stimming stands for self-stimulation. It can be used as a form of self-regulation. Everyone stims to a certain extent, but often we as autistic individuals need to stim a bit more, especially if we're in stressful environments. And sometimes it just feels good. This is why sensory and stim toys can be very beneficial in enhancing the learning and well-being of autistic individuals, whether they're children or adults. And I would greatly encourage any educators watching to provide sensory and stim toys for your students in the classroom, whether they're autistic or not, because everyone can benefit from it. For parents, having sensory and stim toys for your children can help them focus in certain situations. And I know personally that it really helps me in my daily life, especially when I need to do things like public transport, uh, going to work, um, study, um, going to uni, all those sorts of things that require focus and concentration. So I hope you enjoy the video today and let's get started. If you're a family, you might consider also um, storing your sensory toys in a box like this and putting it on a table or a bench um, because these can be really fun toys to play with after school when we need to de-stress or things like that and having the reminder of the box where all these toys can be found can be really helpful I've heard so you might want to give that a go. So this is a bit of a childhood favourite of mine, the slinky. Um, what's not to love about the slinky? It's fun, it feels a bit like a snake, I don't know I just love the fact that it moves and makes a sound and it's very very fun. Um, I could do this all day but I won't because I'm making a video. The next set of toys I bought from an amazing autistic-led organisation called Stimtastic. Stimtastic is an amazing autistic-led organisation and they make self-soothing toys and sensory toys for autistic individuals. Um, and I bought a lot of their stuff. <laughs> um, when one of my favourites is an aromatherapy necklace. Um, so you put essential oils or whatever scents you like and I love it because if I'm an exam or something I quite like other sensory inputs to keep me grounded and so I'll be able to sniff this during the exam and it looks like a bit of jewellery. Um, another big favourite of mine that I use pretty much every day is their um, spinner ring. I got the infinity version but there are heaps that you can get out there. Um, some for you D&D Dungeons and Dragons fans out there, they're also ones that have D20s and things on them. But I really like it because you can just use one other finger and spin it. Um, which I often do, you know, just when I'm reading or watching TV or anything, I do this. Um, for me this has been really helpful because I'm a big nail biter um, and uh, I pick my skin and stuff so for me it's important that I'm trying to now redirect these things to um, use my sensory toys instead. I've also bought other things from Stimtastic. They have other sorts of bracelets that look a bit like jewellery. They have squishy toys you can buy. Uh, they have a whole array of stuff so be sure to check out their website because they have a great range of products. Um, another place I've bought a lot of Stim toys from is Sensory Oasis for Kids um, and it's run by a mother with three autistic boys and they also have sensory processing disorder and anxiety um, so she, she was very passionate about providing them with good sensory toys to help them um, and they have things like fidget toys, um, chew toys, weighted blankets, you name it, it's an amazing range so definitely check them out too. Um, I bought a few from them um, and this one I love because often when I'm sitting watching a lecture I can get very restless um, or I struggle to concentrate and stay still so this is a very good way of just doing something with my hands and moving which is really important to me. I also draw so I often take my sketchbook around with me um, in the train, uh, in lectures and I doodle because I find that when I can doodle um, I for some reason can pick up auditory information easier so they are things that really help me. I also got a fidget cube from them because I have noise sensitivity I find some of the buttons on here a bit too loud so I tend to stick to the metal one um, that you can roll around with your finger which I really love the feeling of um, or I'll use this one on the side um, I use some of these buttons but 
I tend not to use this big clicky one because it makes a clicky sound and I'm very aware of this with other people um, so I tend not to use this too much but when I'm waiting for the train or something and I'm getting quite anxious I will take it out of my pocket and start playing with it um, especially to help me with those sorts of things very helpful another toy I really like um, are the chew toys from Chewy Gem so they uh, stock a huge range of chew toys for a variety of chewers so from light to moderate to heavy chewers and I really like the dog tags in particular because I can actually put this on as a necklace and walk around with it if I need to this is generally for me more when I'm getting fidgety and I have the urge to bite um, that I found these really helpful be sure to check Chewy Gems website out they also have um, bracelets and other things that can help uh, not only children but adults as well. Sensory Oasis for kids also make putty. Um, I personally prefer putty to slime, mainly because I find the sensation of stuff on my hands a bit icky. Um, putty is a nice compromise because you still get that fun texture without it being messy, um, which is really helpful if I have it on the table when I'm studying and I just like squeezing things. Um, it's also really good for my motor coordination as well. I was often recommended uh, toys like this similar to a stress ball um, particularly when I broke my arm because it helped regain my skill um, and strength back with my my hand when I broke it so that's the range from sensory oasis for kids I like there are heaps of things that you can buy from sensory oasis for kids they have make your own slime packs and things like that so be sure to check it out there's a great range lastly I'd love to show you uh, one of my personal favorites uh, Kaiko fidgets and this is actually run by a young entrepreneur, Kai, who's autistic, has dyslexia and auditory processing issues. So he actually made these toys for himself originally to help him focus in class and then he made it for other people. And I just, I just love these. I actually took this along to a mentee when he was getting his hair cut, which he found very stressful, but he found these really helped him focus. Um, so he has a range of toys. This is one of my favorites because it's got this nice metal ball in the middle and then you can spin it. And they look a bit like ball bearings and really cool bite parts and things. Um, so really great stuff. He has things like fidget key rings um, and his latest product is a weighted blanket fidget. And there are a bunch of chains that you can actually put on your arm. So, You put it on your arm like so and it gives you this nice weighted feeling and you can jangle them and play with it and I just find it very calming because I love deep pressure and just having this input on my arm is really soothing so I love that product. Um, oh, he has so much stuff. Um, this is one of his other products. I love these jangly ones. Don't ask me what the parts are. I have no idea I'm afraid. Um, but I love this one. Um, I also adore this one because it makes a nice sound when you play with it. Um, and then ones like this where he's used key rings and put um, chains on it as well. So definitely check out his website. He's got an amazing range of um, toys and he also makes packs for educators as well. So if you're a teacher and looking for sensory toys to use in the classroom, these are really great ones. The best thing is they're portable. Like this you can fit in your pocket and just take around with you everywhere and it looks cool at the same time so that's pretty awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about my own sensory tools that I use. Uh, if you liked this video please uh, we would appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Please leave us comments below on what you thought and if you're an autistic individual what sensory tools have helped you? We'd love to hear it. Again thank you and we'll see you next time. Bye!